New for you tonight at 5 o'clock, an El Dorado County mother of three vanishes without a trace. Officials say 33-year-old Heather Gamina Waters went missing nearly a week ago and so did her car. Well, now that woman's mom is calling on community members to keep an eye out for her. Fox 40's Doug Johnson joining us now live. And Doug, you spoke with Heather's mom today. What does she want people to look out for? Well, Nikki, uh, the family says that it's the not knowing, which is really the worst part, but she wants everyone to look out not only for Heather, but also for her car, because she says that could be the key in finding her. No one has heard from her, to, to my knowledge. No one has heard from her. Joanna Russell is talking about her daughter, 33-year-old Heather Gamia Waters, a Placerville woman who has not been seen since Tuesday. I'm sleep deprived. I'm sad. I'm scared. Russell, who didn't want her face shown, says her daughter had just broke her collarbone last Monday and a complaint about being in pain after being released from the hospital. She spent that night at her Pleasant Valley area house, but by Wednesday, both Heather and her car, a 2005 Black Infinity Coupe, had vanished. It is very unlike her to not contact anyone. That's why there's a, a concern for her safety right now and a concern that she had a broken collarbone. So I'm praying that someone will, will hear this or have seen something or might know something and please report it to the sheriffs. The El Dorado County Sheriff's Office confirms it is also searching for Heather and her car, sharing photos on social media. Russell says the Black Infinity Coupe has distinctive pink markings that are hard to forget, such as two pink ribbon stickers on the back window and a pink gas cap lid that says his queen. So there was a lot of pink um, in the car, little areas on the car. In the meantime, Russell says she and Heather's three kids are starting to fear the worst. Her four-year-old grandson is especially worried. Like we can't even really tell him. <laughs> like he keeps looking for his mom and he wants to go over there and he can't. Each day that goes by, I, the hopes of finding her okay are, get a little bit more scary. And the El Dorado County Sheriff's Office says it is still too early to release too many details about this case, but they did say they are not organizing any sort of formal search party at this point in time, but they still do want to hear from tips from the public for anyone who may have seen Heather or her car on either Tuesday or Wednesday in the Placerville area. And for uh, more information on how you can contact them, you can visit our Fox 40 News app. Reporting live in Placerville tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Doug, thank you. Now